What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here. Uh, gonna bring you a classic song lesson here. And it's it's actually got four chords, but they're all the great beginner easy chords. Uh, so it's a great one, you know, crowd pleaser, and it's easy. Uh, so we'll zoom in, I'll break down the chords in a rhythm for you. And also just let you know that this is where I'm at now. This is uh, the YouTube channel that I'm gonna be at from here on out. So I'd really appreciate you subscribing to this channel, uh, leaving comments, liking the video, all that stuff, just let, letting people know that this is where I'm at now. And thanks so much for the support. Uh, anyway, let's zoom in and break this one down though. So here we go. All right, so let me show you the chords first of this tune. We're gonna start with a G chord and it goes G to D. And typically when I have a G to a D, tenacious D, um, I like to play a G this way with the ring finger on the third fret of the B, pinky on the third fret of the high E, second fret, third fret right there. And the reason for that is that ring finger can stay and pivot over to the D chord. And so basically there's a verse and a chorus and they're almost identical. But let's start with the chorus because that's what the song opens with. Uh, and if you, oh, and if you want to play like the Guns N' Roses version, you just got to tune your guitar down a half step to E flat tuning. My guitar is in standard tuning right now, but um, you know, it's the exact same thing the Guns N' Roses version. So we got the G, uh, this is the chorus. G chord. And I'll give you a, ryth a rhythm in a second. So we got G, D, and then a C chord. So that's the chorus. Reggae! Just kidding. Uh, okay, so now we need the verse. And basically, all the only thing happening in the verse is it goes like this. It goes G... Mama D, this D, A minor. So it does an A minor instead of C and alternates between A minor and C every time. And that's just for the verse. The chorus, it's always C. But the verse, it alternates between A minor and C. So A minor, it's very similar to C. And so the verses then would sound like this. G. A minor, then G to the D, but a C. Now it alternates back to A minor. G again, D again, but A minor. Feels G, D on heaven, C. Then the chorus is just always C. So then uh, a basic strumming pattern, which I'll give you now, and then also there's some pick, you can pick the notes out, arpeggiate, which would be a fancy word. Um, very easy starting point. Down, 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 up, 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 down. You know, I always vary my rhythms, but that's like a good starting point. Mm -hmm. 
And so with the picking, uh, I don't have any specific picking pattern, but um, you know, with the G chord. A good idea would be to like pick that low E and then skip the A and then go to the D and go. And then with the D, uh, in the, you know, Slash in particular likes to do a, with the D chord. When I get to the high E, I pull my finger off and let the open high E ring out. And I just pick back down. And with these open chords, any note you pluck, thus me saying there's no specific pattern, any note, any string that you pluck is not a wrong note. So you can kind of come up with your own patterns or if you hit one by accident, the wrong one by accident, you're still, um, you still sound good. So that, you know, you're all right. So one more time, just to recap, we've got the verse, G, D, A minor, Pick them anytime you want. Pick out the notes. Then the C. And then the chorus is always C. So there was the lesson. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yourself. It's a great song and not too hard to play. Uh, also, just remind you, this is where I'm at from here on out. So please subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave comments about other songs you'd like to learn or anything else you want to let me know about. And uh, just thanks for hanging out. And uh, can't wait to see you in another video real soon. Take care.